Hi, this is Damien Qualter with this week's Property News and Views for the 29th of June 2009. First of three articles this week. Uh, first article is Buy to Let Property, How to Pick an Investment Property. Short article about uh, how landlords must consider picking the right property before they actually invest in Buy to Let Property. Uh, property Hawk editor warned that there have been a number of cases of amateur landlords that have bought properties in the wrong area and lost out financially due to the strong competition. Again, uh, emphasises the fact that landlords do need to do research, do need to pick the right areas and pick the right properties. Uh, and this, I think, was a problem certainly over the last three or four years where a lot of amateur landlords came into the market and just really picked any property. Um, do your due diligence, <clears throat> look at the lettings market, is there a letting market? Is there a real resale market? Is there a demand for property? Uh, do your figures work? You know, do the uh, stack up? Is there enough rental cover for the mortgage? And you know, always have a look uh, at your exit strategy uh, should you want to get out of the market. Second article this week is landlords and buy to let investors. Now's the first time, uh, perfect time to invest. Again, uh, not rocket science here, smart landlord, managing director, said the current market offers opportunity uh, for great yield over a long-term period. Um, it really emphasises what I've been saying probably now for the last three or four months in that uh, all the uh, signals are in place now for people to get back into the market. Uh, rents are rising, demand is increasing, property prices are low, and don't seem to be uh, dropping further uh, and this you know these uh, effects will not last forever um, you know it's very important that if you are considering getting into the market that you don't hang on too long because th these um, conditions will not be around for long um, the other thing it mentions is that rather rising uh, unemployment in the UK which um, is expected to be about 2 million as cited a rise for uh, about nearly a 5% upturn in student tenants year on year. Well, this is not, might not be your predominant market. Um, the student market drives the bottom end of the market, which again uh, will take up demand at the bottom and this will filter through right through the whole uh, rental chain. The final article this week is how to plan for better times again. Again, it's a long article on considering what to do next uh, should you be looking to uh, invest back in the property market again you know the comment it mentions here is that uh, the housing market doesn't seem such a bleak place anymore uh, there's been recent weeks of a flurry of positive data and a lot of things seem to be stacking in the right uh, favour it is a look quite a long article it's longer normally than we put on the blog but Again, uh, it's worth reading. I don't really want to go through it uh, verbatim uh, in the video, but certainly worth reading and, and gives some real f uh, food for thought for those considering or already in the market um, property investors. That's it this week on Property News and Views. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you next week and hope you've enjoyed this week's episode.